everybody. Welcome back. Thank you for joining me for another video. Uh, so before I get started, if you saw my last video, the Pentaptic, um, that is drying. It's almost dry. A few more wet spots in the middle. And then hopefully I'll get to, I don't think I can hang them anywhere. I don't have space to hang them, but maybe I'll lay them out on the deck or something and take pictures of them. <laughs> I don't know. I have to figure that out. Um, but anywho, uh, I told you guys in the last video that I was doing the letter K and I finished it and I wanted to show it to you guys. Now, if you're on Instagram, you would have seen it already, but I wanted to show you guys the K. So it's finished. It's not perfect. So there's still like a few things I'd like to work on. However, using the casting resin made a huge difference. Um, I'm trying to think if, if I showed you the S. I'm pretty sure I showed you the S. But um, it's definitely a lot thinner too. Um, and it does look really cool though. I'm really happy with it. So I love it. Um, but there's still a few things I'm learning. Um, but the casting resin is the way to go. Um, and if you are wondering about casting resin, Crystal Resin will have casting resin on their website. It's being shipped right now. Um, there's a delay due to COVID and we're still in full lockdowns. So um, we're hoping, hoping it'll be ready uh, and on the website um, in mid-May. So please be patient with the casting resin. If you want regular resin, um, you could just buy that now. You still get 5% off using code Canela5. Uh, I wanted to show you guys, oh, sorry. And before I forget, the mold that I used for the K I showed you guys, I don't have it here. It's in the other end of my studio. But the mold is from Moldy Fun and I've got like the whole alphabet. So if anyone is interested in getting um, something like this done or something similar with your initial, it could be, you know, something interested in this, you can email me at Canela Soraco. Um, I will put the info for Moldy Fun in the description below. You can save 10% off your order using code Canela10. And I was actually on their website today and I did not realize they had 10 pages, 10, 10 pages of silicone molds. Anything you can think of is on there. Um, and I didn't even get a chance to really look through it carefully because it was, you know, chaos at my house. But I'm going to sit down and take a look and go through all 10 pages. Um, but yeah, and just keep in mind, if you are going to order something, they do have a warehouse in New York. They're, the company is based out of the UK but they do have a warehouse that distributes the products from New York. Okay, so keep that in mind. But yeah, it's moldyfun.com. Save 10% using code Canela10. But again, all that info will be in the description below. All right, I wanted to show you guys a dried result from a few videos ago. I love, love, love this piece. Um, a lot of people are calling it like an ocean piece. Tsunami, I heard uh, someone call it. Uh, I'm really happy with this and uh, my client is super happy with this. It just needs a coat of crystal resin. So that is beautiful. Um, so I'm going to wrap up the intro here, but I'm going to show you guys a few things. Uh, the massive 24 by 48 uh, piece in the sun. I got that out in the sun today and I have a bunch of pieces that are available for purchase. Now, you know, I no longer use Etsy. I don't like Etsy. Don't like using Etsy for many reasons. So I have a few pieces that are, some are pretty old, some are still new pieces, but I laid them out all on my table here and I took a quick video to show you guys all the pieces that I currently have available for purchase. If they are a super old piece, there's going to be a discount on it. So I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to roll the video where you guys get to see all the pieces that are available and then we'll get started um, on today's pour. So give me a couple of minutes and I'll put that video in there and then I'll see you guys in a bit. Be right back.
then, so I wanted to do a quick video uh, and show you guys the pieces that I currently have available for purchase. Since I no longer use Etsy, I thought I would take the opportunity uh, now that my table was clean and I had nothing on it to put all my pieces on here and show you guys what is available. Um, some pieces are old, some pieces are newer. So uh, the older pieces will have a discount to them. It could be 10, 20 or 30% depends on the piece uh, and how old it is. So I'm going to start with this one so I can put it down in case it falls. But this is a 24 by 24 inch with the pinks. It still needs a coat of resin, but I just wanted to show you that. Now I'm going to put it down just in case I drop it and then we have a problem. All right, so we have here a 20 inch round. This is available. Don't mind my lights, unfortunately. So, okay, that is a 20 inch round. This is the pastel 20 inch round that I did. That is available. Then we have the triptych and these are 10 by 24 inch canvases. Now this is an older piece, so this will get a discount. Um, that blue piece will have a discount as well. Um, so that is an older piece that I still have kicking around. And I'd like to see these go to a good home and a new home and get out of my home. <laughs> so this is the nine panel um, collaboration I did with Massey Art Studio. So I've decided to break them up in triptychs. So these still need resin. Um, but I've made this a three piece and then like you can see there's definitely going to be shimmer in this once it gets resin. I just haven't had a chance to resin it because I haven't had the table space. So this is a triptych and you can see I've matched them up pretty well. And this is the last piece. So these are 10 by 10 inch canvases. All right. So those are available. This piece here is an older piece and I'm actually surprised it has not sold because this base color was one of the most popular colors that I did that ended up having, I had to do like another five commissions with this color. Um, so, and this has, I don't know if you can see, I'm trying to pick it up, but I can't. Ugh. Come on, Kamala. This has some pretty good shimmer to it which i can't get it to show you but if you're on instagram you'll see all these videos of these pieces out in the sunlight so this is a 16 by 20 inch diptych so these are available which will also be on sale because it's an older piece then we move along to this little tiny triptych these are 8 by 10 inch canvases and you can see here the shimmer in those. So eight by 10 inch triptych, which is also for sale um, at a discount because it's an older piece. This is an older piece as well. These are 11 by 14 inch canvases. So again, an older piece, 11 by 14 inch diptych. This is a 12 by 12 inch older piece as well. This is a 12 by 16 inch Again, older piece. This is, now these next three are from the Great Switcheroo collaboration. So we'll start with this one. This one's from Great Switcheroo part one, where I did a ring pour. And this one has a lot of shimmer to it. Lots of iridescence in this one, as you can see. So that is a 16 by 20 inch. Then we move here to the Great Switcheroo Part 2, which was a wrecked ring pour. And this one uh, is a 12 by 16. You can see the pearl violet in there. And then here we have the Great Switcheroo Part 3, which still needs a coat of resin, but you can definitely see the shimmer in this. And this is a 16 by 16 inch. It was a balloon kiss with swiping. And then finally, here in the center, we have, I believe this is an 18 by 24 inch. And this one has, um, this is the one that I used the uh, black scraped paint off the table that had metallics in it. So the base is also shimmery too, as you can see. There's a lot of gold shimmer in the base paint. So this one's an 18 by 24. 
and it's gorgeous. Look at that. So these are the pieces I have available for purchase. If you are interested in any of these pieces, you can email me at canelaseraco at gmail.com and we can discuss pricing and anything else you need to know about the actual piece. So there you have it. Don't forget the pink one. And that is it guys. So I'd like to see these beauties go to their forever homes so that I can clear up some drying racks here. But uh, yeah, so there you have it. Let me know if you'd like anything. Thanks so much guys. Okay, everybody, welcome back. We are ready to go. So what I have here is a 16 by 40 inch canvas and I've got it sitting on my furniture levelers, which are these. And for those of you who don't know, I got them off Amazon um, and they are the greatest things I've ever used um, because you can level your canvas so unbelievably um, easily, I guess that's the word I'm looking for. Um, and it's just, I need another set of these. I have two sets, so I have eight in total, but when I do a triptych, I don't have enough. So I'm gonna have to order another set, but I had to like lift this side a little bit, lift this side a little less, and then a smidge on this corner, and then I was perfectly level. So if I, like before I was using popsicle sticks and like, you know, paper folded up and jammed under there, when I'm doing a canvas like one or two and I'm using these, oh, it makes my life so easy. So they're furniture levelers and you can find them listed in my Amazon shop in the description below, okay? Um, another quick thing I wanted to mention, I just remembered. Um, Someone on Instagram had commented um, and said, hey, um, Canela, what is it you use to blow your paint around? Now, I didn't see the comment because I get too many comments all the time and I don't get to see them all. And someone replied to her and said, oh, it's a hairdryer, but don't bother asking because Canela doesn't help people and she never tells anybody what the attachment is. I've tried a million different attachments and none of them work for me. And, you know, I don't know what the big secret is, but Canela will never tell anybody what the attachment is. Um, I don't know what the big secret is, but sharing is caring. And I'm like, wait, what? I'm like, I have video tutorials on YouTube because I like to share and teach everybody. I've mentioned a million times that this is a Conair, Conair travel hair dryer. I bought it three years ago from Walmart for $9.99. I have the exact same hair dryer listed in my Amazon shop. It's a travel hair dryer because it folds, okay? Woohoo! It folds, okay? As for the attachment, this attachment is 11 years old. It belongs to the hair dryer in my bathroom. This is the, so I cannot tell you where to get this attachment, but for those of you who like really, really, really wanna know what kind of attachment it is, here you go. It's just rectangular. I've got a few posted on, on my Amazon shop. Obviously, they're not exactly the same because it's impossible to find the same one. Um, so I was a little peeved by that comment because I try my best to help everybody I can, answer emails, you know, I, I, emails, uh, messages, private messages, comments on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, TikTok, like I'm everywhere. So it's very hard for me to see everybody's comments. But anywho, um, let's just say her and me and that person didn't have a friendly conversation after that. But anywho, so for those of you who do want to know, Conair travel hair dryer, okay? And this is what my attachment looks like, okay? So there you have it. Don't ever say I don't help <laughs> because I do. You know how much I love helping everybody as best as I can. Anywho, that is my vent and my rant for the day. 16 by 40 inch canvas. This is for my best client, Amy. She is gifting it to a very, very good friend of hers. And she says to me, well, Canela, it's gonna be black, white, and gold. And I said, okay. And she says, black and white split. Someone's calling the house phone. Black, it's probably air duct cleaning. Uh, 
<laughs> okay, so black and white split. And then I said, okay, well, what about the colors? And she said, just gold. I said, what do you mean just gold? She says, just gold. I said, can I not add some kind of contrasting color? And she's like, no, all she wants is gold. And I was like, okay, well, this is going to be interesting. So I am going to start off by layering my base paints. Um, I will speed you guys up in the, this process and I'll get back to you guys and talk about <laughs> this fun stuff. Be right back. So we've got the split going. Obviously, I'm going to do a wispy into the white, a wispy into the black. And I'm, I debated whether I, I still don't know if I should. I didn't really discuss this with Amy. Uh, if I should add some white into the black wispy and black into the white wispy or just leave it all gold. I think I better just stick to my original gut. Okay, so we have Light Gold by Amsterdam. <laughs> and we have 24 Karat Gold by Deco Art. And then we have Deep Gold by Amsterdam. So three golds. She would not let me put any other color in there. So there you have it. Three golds. Here, let me turn so you can see the colors better. There three shades of gold. I have no idea how this is going to turn out. Uh, you know, I'm always skeptical when my client tells me choose these colors and I'm like, eh, I don't know. And then I'm so like surprised and I'm like, oh, it turned out so great. But this is just all gold. I don't know. I don't know. Let's, let's see what happens. I really don't know. So Let's start, and because there's only three colors, I'm really gonna have to load this up thick because I need enough paint to blow out, right? So we'll do a wispy here and a wispy down here, like so. Well, there's the light gold. <laughs> this, I don't know, I don't know, but what the client wants, the client gets, all right. 24 karat gold that looks just like the other gold. <laughs> so I'm not sure. I'm not sure. And finally, we've got deep gold. I tried, trust me, I tried so hard um, to try and convince my client to put another color in there. And she's like, no, she only likes gold. And I'm like, okay, just gold. Do you see what I just did there? Ooh, <laughs> double, double deep gold. Okay, let's pop the bubbles. I I don't know. This is and and this is all metallic-y shimmery. So there's no matte colors in here, you know, they're all metallic. So I don't know. Let's uh Let's start with this wispy, I guess. Okay, let's go.
Okay, it's gold all right. Um, here's my problem. This and this is my problem. The black blew into the gold, into the white, and that I don't like. So, yeah, that is not, do you know why? Like you see this and this is, this is actually really pretty um, here like this. So I'm, I'm really glad I didn't A, add black and white into the wispies. I'm really happy I didn't do that. Um, I'm thinking now I'm going to have to scrape just this part here and add some and blow it out, but I don't know how that's going to work. And I'm really afraid to touch stuff. And this is already moving. I can see it because it's closing the gap, um, between the little white here from my wispy. It's definitely closing the gap. I don't, I'm not happy with this. I don't like that, so I'm gonna have to fix that. The rest, surprisingly, is actually quite nice, but I'm gonna have to, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, got my Loli Vefi scraper. So luckily it's only um, just this part here and this part, so I should hopefully be able to work on that. I'm not really sure, we shall try. Stuff like this really freaks me out because I don't like messing with stuff. Ugh. Oh boy. All right, I got to clean the scraper because I don't want any of that black to mix with anything else. Okay. You see, I gotta, I gotta make sure there's no black on the scraper. Okay, so, and then we get rid of this part. Okay, so, and then you wanna make sure there's nothing there on the side, because the side is really important because if you, don't touch up the sides, then you're gonna have the black showing through. All right, so we add some white back, like so. Okay, then I will get my big bottle. I really don't know if this is gonna work. I really don't because I don't know how I'm gonna re-blow this without messing the rest of this up. So I'm pretty worried, which sucks. Cause I'm used to just blowing and being done. <laughs> so um, my spatula is dirty, I gotta clean it. I don't, I don't wanna get any black in the white painting. So let me clean that off real quick. Okay, clean. So, see, shout, shoot. Just when you think there's no black, there's black. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna have to scrape this thing all over again. You watch. Okay. Let me blow this out with the hair dryer. Oh, I feel so frazzled. Amy! <laughs> Amy! Okay. Okay. Um, oh, I still gotta do this side. Oh, shucks. Mm. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right.
Okay. Let's add the white. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's torch the bubbles. And let's try this again. So we have the light gold first. I, I, oh man, I don't even know. Oh, okay. Like that. Okay. 24. This side looks so perfect. Can I just cut it in half and just do this side? And then this. And then the deep gold. Okay. So I don't mind if the gold blends in with the white. That's not bad. What's bad is when the gold blends in with the black and then it looks gray. Just, just doesn't look right. Now here's my problem. There's a lot of black right here. So when I blow this, I might get the black in there again. I just, I just might. So I'm gonna try really hard not to, but I don't know. Oh. Okay, so there is a little black in there, but I can't do anything about that. So this turned out so much better. I'm happy with that. I'm not happy with this. Uh, I'm gonna play with this just a little bit. Okay, now that looks better. And I wonder if I just with my finger Yes, get rid of that really solid black line like that. Oh, that looks better. Okay. Um, let me see, is there anything else I want to fidget with? I really like this part and I love this part. It's just this part. Actually, I'm going to fidget here too. And I don't like the way this little thing is sticking out like that. So I'm going to fix this too. And I still have to fix my edge over here. So I'm just gonna blow this part. Actually, I'm gonna get my stool because these furniture legs make the canvas higher, which makes it harder for me to reach certain areas. All right. Anything else? Okay. I, as I trip over the stool. I think that's better. I do. I think that's a lot better than before with that big black patch. Like, I mean, there's still a little bit there, but I can't really do much about that. I just erased some of that. Look at that. Really? <laughs> okay, you know what? I better not mess with it too much because then I'm going to get mad at myself as I still stick my fingers in it. Okay, I'm going to fix the edges and I'll be right back. All right, everybody. So before I show you guys the close up, don't forget, take your stick and clean off those drips. Scrape, geez, I gotta pay attention to the camera. Scrape off the drips, all right? There you go, all right. Now let's look at the close-up. All right, so there's definitely a lot of gold, <laughs> lots of gold. 
So I managed to fix this side when I scraped it. So I'm really happy about that. And there's just a little bit of the black in there. There we go. My camera is like auto focusing there. Um, I love this bottom part. I love this whole right side. Very happy with this whole side. It's just that one side I scraped that I'm not 100% happy with. Um, I like the piece. I'm not going to be like, oh, I love it and do a happy dance like I did in my last video because gold isn't my thing fully gold. <laughs> but hey, if you love it, that's up to you. Um, Amy, I hope you're watching. I hope you like it. I hope your client's going to like it. Um, but yeah, so there it is with the uh, studio lights on. I wonder what kind of shimmer they'll be with the lights off. Let's check it out. All right, everybody. So... Yeah, there's uh, definitely a lot of shimmer going on <laughs> because they were all metallics. Uh, so it's definitely going to be pretty when it gets a top coat of crystal resin, that's for sure. Yeah, look at the shimmer. So there you have it. All gold. All gold. All right. All right, everybody. So there you have it. I have my regular lights on, as you can see the reflection. <laughs> so let me know what you guys think about this one uh, in the comments below. And uh, let me know what you guys think. Um, I think I'm going to do a purples uh, next, I think. I do have to do a few commissions, but uh, a few more commissions. But let me know what you guys think. Um, I want to show you guys something funny. I went to Michael's the other day and uh, cleared them out. So I had to do curbside pickup. It was buy one, get one, BOGO. So I stocked up. And when I went to go pick up my order, she's like, order number. And I'm like, I don't know, one, two, three, four. And she goes, oh, you're the one with two carts full of canvases that depleted our stock. I said, yeah, that would be me. <laughs> so... Yeah, it's like Michael's at my house, right? Anywho, um, yeah, I thought that was funny. <laughs> and these are my little canvases that I don't use because I don't like to do small things anymore. I like to go big or go home. <laughs> okay, guys, that is it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, don't forget to subscribe and like and hit that thumbs up and hit that notification bell. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day, have a good night, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, bye.